last season and uh, warm water fishing, including uh, crappie and, and bluegill around the corner here, I'm tying up something called a monster bugger. So I am using a uh, Diachi 1750 streamer hook, size 8, and a uh, about 4.5 millimeter gold cone head. So to give it a little extra weight, because I like fishing these deep, I will wrap about 10 or so turns of this lead wire. This is 0.015 lead wire. I'm going to push it right up to the front here because I do like this to jig quite a bit and also I want that to be stabilized, that uh, cone head. So the thread I'm using today is a uh, 140s. All the way back to the bend of the hook. Then I'm going to add a little head cement. Now I like a really bushy tail on these, so I'm going to take two of these marabou feathers and I'm going to turn them opposite of each other so they're flared out a bit and tie those in so the tail's about the same length as the hook shank. Trim off your waist there. We are going to add this really pretty estaz. Then we're going to set this aside in our material clip just so it gets out of the way. Now I've got this uh, black, it's got some red flakes in it and whatnot, um, but these are crazy legs. We're going to set it right across the top here and just do an X wrap. Bring this one back, do a wrap this way. And you can kind of pull them back, make sure they're really in there solid. That's okay if they're angled backward. Here we're going to wrap up a little bit towards the head of the fly. And then bring your thread up under the cone head there. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky part. So you're going to have to kind of thread this through. top of your um, crazy legs there. You're going to go in between these two. And this kind of stabilizes those. Over the top of the second one. Wrap a few times around the, the head, tighten everything, make sure it's all nice and solid in there. Go ahead and capture that. Now I've got this really, really shiny Estaz here. You can do this with a really thick chenille if you don't want so much glitter. Uh, but, I, you know, what I fish these for, bass really like some very uh, flashy flies, you know. So, we'll wrap a few times just to make sure that's secure. Since we're using a cone head, we're just going to wipe our head cement right on the, the thread right there. Just to be able to get some head cement up under there. right over top of that. Make sure that these crazy legs are positioned how you want them. And you can either leave them really long like that if you want them shorter, which I like. What it does is it kind of, the shorter they are, the less they're going to move, but they're also going to move a lot more water too because these are going to stick out further. 